Dude, I tell you, this lemon balm tea is just so relaxing. Thanks to everyone who put me onto lemon balm tea. It really is a great use of lemon balm. Now there's a few things I need to do today. I don't really feel like it. Sun's shining. I'm full of lemon balm tea. But let's get on with the jobs. I'll start in the greenhouse this week. This is my parsley plant. It's one I bought from a supermarket last year and then potted it up into a much bigger pot. Well, it's gone kind of a bit leggy and it's a bit past it really. So, I bought myself a new parsley plant from a supermarket. Cost me 89 pence. So I'll put it into a bigger pot and it'll last me about a year. Do, 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 do. They always pack the herbs into their pots in the supermarkets. I mean, look at the root system on that. Absolutely fantastic. So I'll pop that in there, fill the sides around with some compost, and there we are. Just give it a little water and it'll keep me in parsley probably right through till next spring. I always think that buying herbs from supermarkets is a great way of getting herbs. Because as I said, they really pack the plants into a small tub. So if you plant them up into a much bigger pot, they usually thrive. This is my mint plant. Again, it was bought as a supermarket herb, but it's been dormant over the winter and now it's really flourishing. Now, if I read correctly, mint and lemon balm are from the same family of plants, which reminds me, it's time for another lemon balm tea. So I put half a dozen fresh lemon balm leaves into a mug, pour on some boiling water and just leave for five minutes. After five minutes, scoop out the leaves and enjoy the deliciousness. Mm. This is the last of my bean plants that needs to go out. So let's do that. Now my plum tree is looking a lot better since I got rid of all the insects on it, but they really have done a lot of damage, not just to the leaves, but also to the small fruit that was on there. I've pulled maybe a dozen small plums off because they were so badly damaged. I've left one on to show you. Where is it? It's got a in my eyes. It's here. I'll just pull this one off. You see that? All this horrible scarring and pitting. That's thanks to the insects who decided that this was a quite a tasty and succulent meal for them. So I've pulled off about a dozen like that already and I can see one or two others which aren't that good shape either on this tree. Not really sure how many plums I'm going to get off it this year and what condition they're really going to be in. All thanks to the insects that decided this tree was a great place for a snack. Of course, I could have just let them and let nature take its course, in which case there'd probably been no leaves or indeed any plums on this tree this year. Now one thing I have seen flapping around the garden this year has been cabbage white butterflies. You may remember that a couple of years ago they absolutely devastated my broccoli crop. Well, last year I didn't grow any brassicas because I was so cheesed off with them. But this year, I'm taking positive action against them to protect my cauliflowers. So here it is, the Titley Mark I cauliflower cage. It's just four posts with a bit of netting thrown over the top. It's seven millimeter mesh, which is about a uh, um, uh, quarter inch. Yeah, about a quarter inch mesh. Um, I couldn't quite get it so that the leaves are not touching the net in some places. 
So there is a potential for the cabbage whites to come and lay their eggs, but I can see very easily where they've been and I can easily intervene and pick off the eggs if I see any. Those in the centre, of course, are perfectly happy. Just like me after a cup of lemon balm tea. Hmm, I think my spinach need thinning out. So I need to thin these out to about two inches apart. Having said, this looks like it's bolting. I'll give what's left a good water. Notice my beetroot doing quite well. My carrots have now started to make an appearance. Maybe a couple of weeks before I start thinning these out though. Well, that's all I've really got time for this week. Time for some more lemon balm tea. Thanks for watching, be chilled, and do join me next time in Titley's Mellow Garden.